It's the one year anniversary for Company of Heroes 3, so we'll be covering everything we're doing this month to celebrate, along with an overview of our year one anniversary update, and we'll discuss some of the other exciting stuff happening this month. But I'm curious if you have any news for us about what might be coming after this update. What to expect in March? First up, for our console players, uh, we have an update that will bring the game up to parity with the 1.4 Steel Shepherd update for PC. We have a 1.6 PC update happening in March. Pretty big update. It's got a lot of cool stuff packed with content and some features. So you're going to expect three new community maps um, in 1.6, uh, a vote to surrender, a lever penalty finally, uh, pathfinding improvements, a uh, single player mission selector, and a new accolade system that I think players will really dig. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, so I know our players are really looking forward to having some type of roadmap uh, for the rest of the year. We ask for everyone for a bit more patience as we kind of work through that, make sure it's fully buttoned up before we kind of communicate and roll out a roadmap. And we'll kind of update everyone as soon as we have a roadmap ready. Fun stuff today. We're adding something to player profiles. We are finally bringing a way for players to customize their profile appearance. In its first iteration, a pretty lightweight feature. They will be able to change three elements of their profile, uh, badges, banners, and titles. Give you a little bit more yeah, sense of customization over how you appear uh, in the game and in the community in general. So let's maybe look at some of the badges as well. For this like first drop, we are going with the unit symbols. And you have the, grand the Grandeur, which was the first one, the Rifleman the infantry section, and the Bersaglieri. Curious if you can talk about some of the titles. Now we are expanding the system and offering titles that will be part of like three separate categories. One is the unit types. For this release, we are going to have the Rifleman, uh, the Bersaglieri, the British Rifleman, and uh, as units. Then we have the ranks. We are giving out the uh, private first class. And then we will have uh, also some that are more humorous. For the first one that we are shipping, we are going with the General Errands. General Errands, I, lo I love it. <laughs> um, I, I, I know. <laughs> so we'll have like pretty much one for each faction as titles, and then we'll have the the banners will be one one for allies, one for axes, and then the badges will be pretty much one for each faction. Okay, perfect. I'm super excited to be able to deliver more for this in the future. We're bringing seven maps to this update. Maps. We, we've wanted to get as many maps into the game as possible. All community maps will finally come to fruition in this update. We're also looking to bolster uh, other map pools like our casual versus AI uh, pool as well. Uh, Co-op versus AI uh, maps that we're going to be introducing. It afforded me an opportunity to revisit some of our maps and casualify them. You're going to notice a theme with it being the anniversary. We have <laughs> specifically chosen to go for classic maps. We wanted to dig back into the roots of, of Co-1 and Co-2 uh, and bring about a new slew of uh, the maps that we're most familiar with. Let's discuss a returning Co-2 classic, Paymanville. Its 1v1 favourite has been rebalanced and reintroduced by community members. Expect the same great battles around the central farmhouse and back and forth raids on the outer victory points. Next up, Steps is returning and players will get to enjoy the same titanic tank battles and long range gameplay now beautifully reimagined in the deserts of North Africa. Next, 2v2 favourite Elst Outskirts is returning to auto match and skirmish. Players can look forward to the same great flanking gameplay and nail-biting matches now in a decaying industrial Italian setting. For 3v3, Co-1 map Monthe May has been restored to its former glory. Close quarters fighting in the city will give way to more open battles along the riverside in this truly unique map. We are bringing back a 1v1 classic, Semwa. Set in an idyllic Italian village with a competitive design, Semwa will be available in auto match and skirmish and may well become a tournament favorite. Our final two maps are aimed more at the casual audience and will only be available in custom games and skirmish. Our first is a new variant of Day 101 named Sangro River Crossing. Featuring player-heavy choke points and territory layouts, this variant allows for fun with friends or with AI teammates in 3v3. Similarly, Sue's Stronghold is a variant of an existing 4v4 map and again features more bottlenecks and more manageable territory layouts. Maps. Today, I'm gonna to summarize the most important balance changes we're introducing with the anniversary update. One of the key goals has been to improve the overall strategic diversity for the British faction. We've made a few important changes to underused units like the Humber and the Grant. Core upgrades such as the light vehicle and team weapon training upgrades have also been improved. We are also adjusting two battle groups to increase their overall viability. 
Firstly, the German mechanized batter group has been reshuffled, and we are introducing a new experimental chain to the Panther Colon tank, where you can now build it from the Panzer Company structure. Similarly, this change is also being applied to the EZ-8 armor batter. In addition to all this, there will be a number of general balance changes to the units in all factions, which we think will improve and refresh the overall meta. Everything we're doing this month to celebrate. We'll be hosting several Twitch takeovers with some of your favorite members of our official creator squad. A new community social challenge to deploy 12 million units in multiplayer or single player. If the community accomplish this goal, we'll be unlocking new legendary profile items for all players. Frontline banner, frontline badge. Additionally, when the year one anniversary update is released, three new special challenges will be available in addition to the regular daily and weekly challenges. Each of these challenges is worth a whopping 800 merit. The Company of Heroes 3 Resurgence Tournament starting March 2nd. This 1v1 tournament with a $4,000 prize pool will feature an exciting 4v4 and 2v2 losers bracket where players can make a resurgence back to the finals. Catch all the action on AE's Twitch and YouTube channels. As we wrap up, don't forget that the year one anniversary update will be releasing on February 27th at 10 a.m. Pacific time on PC. And an hour before that, we'll be sitting down with our balance team on Twitch to discuss the patch notes and multiplayer changes coming in the update. To stay up to date on everything Company of Heroes 3, subscribe to Title TV. We may as well show off some of those rewards. What do you think? Bye.